Hi guys, I am going to just take you through a few simple steps that you're going to need to keep in mind when creating your Sydney Nolan collage. Now, as you know, Sydney Nolan was a painter, um, really, really, really famous painter in Australia, and he became extra, extra famous for painting Ned Kelly, okay? But we're not painting an artwork, we're going to be collaging, so making it out of paper. So, as you can see from this one, I've copied one of his, you know, super, super famous um, paintings. And what you're going to do is select from a few different um, artworks which one you would like to recreate. If I pull these out, oh, I've got a few different examples in here. Okay. Upside down. So this is the one that I have recreated. All right. This is another one. This isn't a Ned Kelly one. Another really famous one of his, though, of a football player. And... Another one, there's actually a train crossing in the background here. Reminds me of a jockey for some reason. But what I'm actually going to recreate at the moment is I've got these few um, postcards here from the National Gallery of Victoria. Um, and I'm actually going to be recreating this little one here. I might photocopy these for you as well so that you've got a little bit more choice. Okay, so first thing I want to do is obviously keep my image at hand so that I know what shapes and what composition I'm looking for. First job is select an A3 coloured piece of paper that is going to be your main colour in your background. For this, I'm going to choose um, this deep yellow, all right, because if you look at the image, this, you know, yellow section is what, you know, is the most obvious and common colour in the background. Next thing I'm going to do is get another A3 sheet of coloured paper and this time I'm getting blue because I want to create the sky, all right? So I know that my A3 pieces of paper are exactly the same size, so all I actually need to do is come through and cut. So I'm almost working in um, negative here. So I'm going to cut a shape out. Now, this can obviously be reused. Don't scrunch it up. Put it in the collage box, please. So this is going to create my sky, okay, and this kind of hill that's happening in the background. Now to create, now, well, sorry, what I need to think about next is the next layer. So I've created my background. Now I need to think about my midground. So what's happening in the middle of my artwork? And in fact, it is this house and this water tank here. All right, and what's in the foreground, so at the very front of my artwork, is Ned Kelly himself. So we're going to go ahead and create the house now. And I've got a selection of like greys, browns, um, uh, white, a few different yellows. Okay, first thing I want to do perhaps is create the chimney here. All right, so I'm going to do that with... The colours don't have to be exactly the same, by the way. I'm just going to grab this, you know, deeper kind of light orange colour. Make the stack, uh, you know, like the, I don't know what you call that, bit. And now I want to make the, the actual chimney section. Um, I'll make that out of a slightly different colour so that it stands out. So if I just hold my... Um, orange piece there, I know how wide I want it to be, I'm just going to come up, come across, sorry, I'm trying to make sure I'm on camera, so this is the actual chimney part, like that, all right, now, I'm not worrying about it being too perfect, as long as the shapes are similar, because you'll notice that Sidney Nolan's work is fairly um, juvenile, which means it almost looks like a little kid's drawing, doesn't it? So I'm not worried if my shapes aren't exactly the right shape, all right? So now I've created this chimney here. I'll go ahead and create a small little water tank over here. I'm going to use that same brown. So I'll cut out a square, more rectangle actually. I'm going to put that there and I want to create some legs. I've got this little scrap here. If I just go one, two, three, and I will put those, whoops, under there. They're probably a little bit long. I can wriggle them up. There we go. Got my water tank. Now I want to create the roof 
of my building. Um, it's a little bit of a tricky shape. I'm actually going to simplify it a little bit by just cutting out a large like slim line rectangle to start with and just making it a you know triangular shape kind of like this. So this part will actually go behind slightly the um, water tank, uh, sorry the chimney here. And if I look here it should be hanging out there a little bit more but it's not but don't stress all right. Now for my actual building uh, I might use yellow just so that it stands out. I'm just going to cut a, another rectangle. Notice how I'm not sticking anything down just yet. Um, it's because I'm layering, aren't I? All right. So I want the opportunity to be able to put things behind um, other objects before I glue them down. So I've kind of got a basic house now. What I would like to do is get another um, skinny piece, this time of brown, to create that veranda post. So this is all very basic because Ned Kelly's going in front of it. So I you know, don't need to be too paranoid about um, what my shapes are as long as they're basically the same. So at this point I'm going to start gluing down my background in my midground, and it's a good idea once you have created something if you know you don't need to layer it anymore do glue it down in case you run out of time um, and you don't want to lose your items okay so glue on my sky a lot of you don't use glue sticks correctly by the way you never use enough glue um, you've got to really I use the word scrub. You've got to really rub it on there, all right, like you're scrubbing, all right. So I'll glue my sky on. I'll glue my um, roof first. I don't know if you noticed then, I've, I've left a small um, seam around the edge where there's no glue in case I want to slip something underneath, all right. We learnt the basics of collaging in like grade two and that was definitely one of the things I remember um, us learning. In fact, in grade one, you made collage fruit bowls and I taught you to make sure you just leave a lip with no glue around the edge for that very reason. All right, so I'm gonna put my post on. I'm going to glue the body of the house on, sliding it under there. Now my chimney, whoops, chimney, I can wriggle that around a little bit because it's not dry, the bottom of my chimney, don't be afraid to trim things either, if they're, if they're just not working for you and they're not the right size, just make them smaller. And now my water tank. Now very rarely do you watch me put glue on the background of something. Um, I usually put it on the item that I'm gluing on but I'm in a little bit of a rush so I'm probably breaking my own rules a little bit here. I've just done the same here because I hate getting glue all over the table or all over my fingers but if you do just wash them. All right so you look, did you see I'm sliding those underneath the water tank? Okay so there's my background and my midground. So now all I want to do is start creating my foreground, which is going to be Ned Cully. Now he's a really basic geometric shape. So I would just simply cut out, you know, a box shape for his head, small, smaller, you know, skinny rectangle for his neck, and then one for his body. All right, stick those down first, then create the red square and the eyes over the top. His hand might be a little bit tricky, but you know, I would persist with that obviously. And if you've noticed, he's got a little bit a gun in his hand as well. So all it's about is thinking about the layers in this, all right? Identify what your background is first, create your midground, and then create your foreground, okay? And in most of um, Sidney Nolan's work, Ned Kelly 
or that figure is what's in the foreground and it's because that's the point um, that he wants you to focus on, okay? So um, just really quickly with the collage box, please don't scrunch up your scraps unless they're really small and can't be reused. Keep them flat, put them back for someone else to use and always cut from the edges, not from the center of your piece of paper. Good luck guys.